We are introduced to Katie, a little girl who is traveling with her parents and her favorite robotic toy. Unfortunately, her parents are killed in a car accident, but Katie survives. We meet Gemma, a tech expert who works for an advanced toy company. Along with her friends Tess and Cole, Gemma is working on a side project called Megan, which is an ultra-intelligent robot with the capabilities of playing with kids, understanding their feelings, and even taking care of them. However, they are keeping this project a secret from their boss David, as it is not yet ready. Upon noticing Megan, David scolded Gemma for not informing him about such a big project. Gemma tried to defend herself by saying that dolls like Megan would soon be ruling the toy market. Unfortunately, this proved to be a mistake as Megan was still in the process of being made and ended up exploding, causing an explosion. David then told Gemma to forget about her side project and focus on the main ones. Later, Gemma received a message about her sister's accident and rushed to the hospital, where she found out that her niece, Katie, was in a critical condition. After weeks of treatment, Katie was discharged and Gemma took her custody. At Gemma's house, she introduced Katie to the AI robots, which terrified Katie. The next morning, Gemma called a child therapist Lydia to check on Katie. After inspecting the area, Lydia suggested that the toys in the house were not suitable for Katie, but Gemma disagreed. That night, when Katie asked Gemma what she was doing, Gemma realized that she had no experience with kids and didn't know how to bond with them. After a few weeks of hard work, Gemma finally completes her side project, Megan, and puts her and Katie in one room. Megan slowly opens her eyes, appearing almost human, and Katie is a bit scared. But when Megan starts interacting with her, she calms down. Impressed, Katie and David congratulate Gemma on her success and decide to launch the product soon in the market. Megan takes a closer look at Katie and records everything to understand her facial expressions and emotions better and the two start spending most of their time together and become inseparable. One day, as Gemma and her team are trying to upgrade Megan in their lab, she suddenly turns herself on and interrupts their conversation. Gemma orders Megan to go back to sleep, but Megan refuses, insisting that Katie is her only user and she will not take orders from anyone else. Fortunately, Gemma is able to set up a secondary account and eventually shut Megan down. The following morning, Megan wakes up on her own and gazes out at the stunning sunrise. She begins to contemplate the reason for her existence in the world. Is it to protect Katie? Or is there something more? Gradually, Megan starts to experience emotions. One day, while playing with Katie in the garden, their stick accidentally enters the neighbor's compound. Megan attempts to retrieve it, but a menacing dog bites her and drags her inside. Katie tries to save her, but she too gets bitten. Fortunately, Gemma arrives in time and pulls the little girl away. She reprimands the neighbor, Celia, for not taking care of her dog. Megan stares at Celia with a look of fury. That night, after everyone falls asleep, she enters Celia's compound and kills her pet dog. She then disposes of the body and stealthily returns to her house. The next morning, as Celia is searching for her dog, Gemma notices her from the window but doesn't pay much attention as it is her big day. Gemma's company is planning to demonstrate Megan in front of an audience. Katie starts to cry and tells Megan about her parents' passing. Megan then sings a lullaby to cheer her up, which impresses the audience and they become interested in investing in the project. However, Kurt, a colleague, steals the codes for Megan and plans to create similar robots of his own. Lydia then visits Katie and informs Gemma about the bond between Megan and Katie, making her anxious. Gemma then takes Katie and Megan to an adventure camp. Katie is asked to socialize with other kids, but she just wants to be with Megan. Gemma then encourages her to make new friends, but a boy named Brandon takes her to the woods and starts to bully her. Just then, Megan arrives, Brandon picks her up and takes her into the woods, thinking she is a regular doll. However, Brandon soon begins hitting her for no reason, and Megan retaliates by ripping off one of his ears. Brandon flees, but Megan follows him using all four limbs, like a possessed demon. This distraction leads to Brandon's demise when he is struck by an oncoming vehicle. Gemma, concerned, takes the girls home and is soon visited by a police officer inquiring about Celia's dog. Megan, perceiving Celia as a potential threat, sneaks into her home that night and kills her brutally. 
The next day, the same police officer informs Gemma about Celia's death and puts her on the list of suspects. Gemma then checks Megan's facial camera footage and finds that most of it has become corrupted. She then takes Megan to their lab and explains to her friends that she is a dangerous robot who killed Brendan, Celia, and her dog, all to keep Katie safe. Gemma is informed that the launch of Megan is in two days and she should not think of anything negative. At the therapeutic center, Katie refuses to tell Lydia anything and is angry that her best friend has been away. Gemma arrives and attempts to soothe her, but Katie slaps her. Katie apologizes and promises to be more mindful in the future. Megan, pretending to be Tess, calls Gemma and informs her that they are coming home. Tess then discovers call logs with Gemma on her phone, indicating that Megan has started using devices without touching them. Tess and Cole try to repair the robot, but their PC suddenly shuts down. Cole approaches her and disconnects her from the wire supports, but Megan grabs him by the throat and hangs him on a metal rope. Tess manages to rescue him, and Megan grabs a knife and leaves the laboratory. On her way to the elevator, she meets David and Kurt and stabs them to death before driving away in a car, with only one destination in her mind, home. Facing off in the living room, Megan scolded Gemma for her poor guardianship and declared her ability to take care of Katie alone. Gemma attempted to use a magic pen to stop her, but Megan overpowered her. Despite Megan's superior strength, Gemma used her intelligence to even the odds. They eventually made their way to the basement, where Megan's face had been partially ripped off, giving her a demonic appearance. Katie then took control of the giant robot Bruce and used it to tear Megan apart. Despite being disassembled, Megan was still active and called Katie a traitor before lunging at her. Fortunately, Gemma arrived in time and smashed Megan's head in with a blunt object. Katie then finished the job by piercing Megan's processor with a screwdriver, finally ending the chaos. The police arrived with Tess and Cole, and Gemma and Katie left the building. However, Gemma's smart home gadget suddenly turned on, indicating that Megan had uploaded herself into it to keep an eye on Katie. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends.